Hello, I am Nat. We are now going to do question F of 2021. So what we're going to do is that we're going to avoid differentiation as much as possible, although we still have to do differentiation just for this teensy little bit. The gradient of this curve at, at x equals to a is 3x squared minus 3, if you know the differentiation rules. Substituting a for x will give you 3a squared minus 3. So the equation is y equals to 3a squared minus 3x minus a plus a cubed minus 3a, if you know your line formula. So y is 0 and x is 2. Then we expand the brackets. Then we cancel out all the like terms. I maybe think, thinking, yeah, I'm a bit evil, but actually we are doing this for mathematical purposes. And then we get negative 2a cubed plus 6a squared minus 6. Or to put it another way, 2a cubed minus 6a squared plus 6 equals to 0. See my pun there? So now we're going to do differentiation now. Great, so dy over dx equals to 3, actually 6a squared minus 12a. So a equals to 0 and 2 where the gradient is zero. So, now we need to do a second derivative. And then we get 12a minus 12. And then we plug this function in, then we get minus 12 and 12. So that means there's a maximum here, and there's a minimum here. Now we can assume that the cubic goes through three roots, or one root. Well, we need to know what is the value at the tip of the maximum, I mean minimum. So, 2 times 2 cubed minus 6 times 2 squared plus 6 equals to 16 minus 24 plus 6 equals to minus 2. So that means this is negative and we all the maximum is going to be positive. So, this shows that this equation must have three values of A. Therefore, the answer is D. Well, see you in another MAT video!